What's going on, everybody? Ross Jackson here with Canal Street Chronicles at Ross Jackson Nola on Twitter and, of course, at Saints CSC on Twitter. Go ahead and throw us a follow as we get into draft week here. We're going to take a look at some positions of need for each day leading up to the NFL draft, beginning with New Orleans Saints' top need, in my opinion at least, the cornerback position. For each of these positions, we're going to take a look at three players in the, probably within the first two days or so that could be immediate contributors for the team at these positions of need. So let's go ahead and get started with the cornerback position. New Orleans Saints, of course, going to be without Janoris Jenkins for this season. He is now signed elsewhere. The Saints moved on from him in terms of cap casualties and all these other things that you can consider, but also probably trying to get a year ahead as opposed to being a year late in his release, which can happen with teams sometimes with these older sort of more veteran presences at the cornerback position and particularly at skill positions as well over on the offensive side. So the Saints right now have Marshawn Lattimore, who may be facing some potential league discipline, depending upon how they view all the offseason things that have been going on with him. But regardless, over on the opposite side there, they're going to need some help going into the 2021 NFL season. Now, a couple of corners have been attached to him. TJ Carey, for instance, who ended up signing elsewhere. And then, of course, Richard Sherman also rumored as well, with Chris Richard being there as a defensive backs coach for the New Orleans Saints now, but doesn't look like he's intending to sign before the NFL draft takes place, which makes a lot of sense for some of these veteran players out there who, of course, don't want to sign with a team and then immediately get replaced by a younger draft prospect that's coming in at the top of the season. So let's take a look at three potential prospects that could be immediate impact, immediate contributors at the position of need number one that we're going to start off with at the beginning of this week, which is the cornerback position. So let's start off with the player that's been the cornerback number one on my list, at least for the entire offseason, and that's Virginia Tech corner Caleb Farley. Six foot one, 197 pounds, has probably fallen down some boards, uh, particularly falling behind a guy like J.C. Horn because he simply didn't play in a 2020 season. He had an offseason procedure and, of course, has a history of injuries as well. Missed the entire 2017 season, his first year, where he actually practiced at wide receiver before moving to corner before the 2018 season, and then ended up uh, missing a couple of games in the 2019 season as well toward the end with another injury. But if you're looking for a guy that can come in and, if healthy, be an immediate contributor, Caleb Farley's absolutely that guy. So it's going to completely come down to medicals, right? Do the Saints trust the medical checks so they feel good about his medicals coming into the NFL? Those are going to be the big questions to answer about Caleb Farley. But if they do, and if he's there at 28, or they feel like they could trade up and grab him, which of course is completely open to conversation when it comes to the New Orleans Saints, then it seems like Caleb Farley could absolutely be the right fit for New Orleans. You're looking at a defense that played a lot more cover to man last season, and that is certainly a spot where we believe that Marshawn Lattimore does some of his best work. That's where we've seen Caleb Farley do some of his best work as well, even though he ended up playing a lot of zone over at Virginia Tech as well. So there's some scheme versatility there, but what you really want to see is if he's going to be able to perform at that press man level, if he can do that in partnership with Marshawn Lattimore and stay healthy, that's a really, really good tandem for New Orleans and a great opportunity to go from Janoris Jenkins who helped in that arena, to certainly go into a young future talent for the New Orleans Saints in that very same scheme. There are some intangibles that I really like about Caleb Farley as well. You look at the fact that he played throughout high school as a quarterback, ended up moving to wide receiver. He sees the field differently. And because he moved to wide receiver, got some practice there, because he sees the field as a quarterback, he also has the ball skills of a wide receiver as well. And you certainly saw that throughout his time in college. He appeared in 11 games in 2019 and had 16 pass breakups and four interceptions. In his very first career game at the cornerback position, he had the only two interceptions that he had that first season in 2018. So you see his ability to be able to make plays on the ball. You see his ability to be able to see the field and react. And he's a very smart player. And we know how much the New Orleans Saints value football IQ, particularly in these last two draft sequences, where you're dealing with things like opt-outs, as well as just an abbreviated and sort of truncated, very different type of offseason that we're accustomed to seeing across the NFL. Let's get to the next cornerback we're going to be talking about today. That's Greg Newsom, the six foot, 192 pound corner out of Northwestern. We talked about medicals when it came to Caleb Farley. There's some durability concerns when it comes to Greg Newsom as well. He missed eight games in 2018 and missed three games in each 2019 and 2020. And despite only appearing in six games in 2020, he still ended up actually leading the Big Ten in passes defended with 10 on that season. He only has one career interception, but you see his ability to be able to make plays on the ball just needs to be able to convert some of those pass breakups into interceptions. That'll be something he can work on at the next level and would be great to work on with a guy like Chris Richard, who is now the Saints defensive backs coach after Aaron Glenn 
headed off to uh, Detroit to join his former colleague there in Dan Campbell, former Saints assistant head coach and tight ends coach. So you see Greg Newsom as somebody that still has a little bit of developing to do. He's a little bit smaller in terms of his frame, which can cause him to get a little caught up sometimes by efficient blocking wide receivers. It sort of becomes a, an issue for him when getting involved in the run game. But you know what? If it gives you a boost in the passing game, I think you still take that. I mean, he's an extremely talented uh, corner with natural instinct, scheme versatility, and 4-3-8 speed. So you definitely like that over on the outside as a complement opposite Marshawn Lattimore there. And finally, we'll wrap up with my sort of sleeper cornerback selection here. If you listen to Locked on Saints, you've heard me talk about the guy all the time. Not really a day one selection, but a potential day two selection for the Saints if they decide to either double up early at cornerback or can't get the corner that they want in the first round and instead look at the second and third round. For me here, this is going to be Paulson Adebo, the corner out of Stanford. Projects very well as a press man corner as well. Former wide receiver, has excellent ball skills, four interceptions in 2019, four interceptions in 2020 as well. 24 passes defended in 2018, following it up with 14 the following year. He did opt out of the 2020 season as well, much like Caleb Farley. So it'll be some sort of interest on how he's going to be able to transition to the NFL game with a lack of reps over the course of 2020. But when he took the time to test there, six foot one, 198 pounds, very similar build to Caleb Farley, although the weight seems to be distributed a little bit differently. Uh, four, four speed there. So not as speedy as a guy like, let's say, Greg Newsom, not as bulky as a guy and physical as a guy as you might see with Caleb Farley, but something in between here with Paulson Adebo, who gives you excellent ball skills, excellent understanding of route concepts and route combinations, which become very, very important with the Saints match schemes over on the defensive side and somebody that can transition in and out of playing press man and also playing in zone as well. So depending upon what those match schemes tell you, you feel some vertical routes, you know that he can hang when it comes to ble- when it comes to playing in man coverage, but then you see inner outbreaking routes and you have to shift over to, let's say, zone on his side of the field. That's certainly something that he would be able to do as well. So you've got natural instincts across all three of these players, and you have specific highlights between each of these players as well. Ball skills when it comes to Paulson Adebo, speed and athleticism, and natural instincts when it comes to Greg Newsom, and just all around fantastic play when it comes to Caleb Farley. The biggest question is going to be, which of those two first round potential corners are they most comfortable with? at certain spots within the draft when it comes to their medicals. And if they don't go that way, then my fingers are crossed for the Stanford cornerback, former wide receiver who can really, really make some plays on the ball and be a playmaker for you over on the opposite side. But obviously for me, if I'm going to pick one of these three players, I'm going to go with Caleb Farley. Caleb Farley is a natural athlete. He's a phenomenal player. It just comes down to the medicals to see how comfortable the Saints are with them. All right, y'all, we're going to have new videos like this up all throughout the week leading up to the NFL draft, as well as day one, day two, day three prospects to watch, and then a recap of the full draft class coming up on the weekend and going into the following Monday as well. And that's just the videos. Make sure you check out canalstreetchronicles.com for all the fantastic draft content on the way here throughout the week. We'll be back tomorrow on Tuesday with a look at linebackers for the New Orleans Saints. Some very interesting ones that are maybe fitting the usual prototype and some that might push the boundaries of a change in prototype thanks to the play of Quan Alexander last season. So come with your opinions in hand. And of course, don't forget to let us know which of these prospects you're most excited about in the comments below and subscribe for more videos as we continue on with some great work here at Canal Street Chronicles. Thank you very much for checking us out. We'll see you tomorrow.